Mark, three all at Kenilworth Road, first point on the board as Huddersfield Town head coach. How are you feeling? Raj, I just have to apologise for my voice because the volume of games and the training, it's been a whirlwind to start with, so I keep losing my voice. So, But what I would say is that um, there was a lot of good aspects to our game tonight, but there was a lot of things that were unsatisfied as well, so there's a lot of uh, room for improvement, you know, but... That's the way this group is. There's a lot of guys that have got big potential there and I think the experienced ones are really coming to the fore now and being the stand-up stand -up players. Even in such a, a short amount of time from Reading away in, in your first game, you could see a difference in the style of play and, and the intensity of what we wanted to do. That's got to be pleasing for you. Look, I know there's so much work to go and I know that when we really click into gear we'll be an exciting team to watch. Um, I just felt that you are all starting to get a real feeling of how I am as a, as a coach. I want as many offensive players as I could get on the pitch. And tonight I had probably four or five in the front line that was really causing Luton big problems, you know. So that was a pleasing thing for me. But I need to get more solid and a bit more structure behind the ball. Um, and as I said, I've got the players in there. It's just about stressing them and training to get them to really adapt to it. Because we know what championship football is about. Even in the, the second half, we seemed to repair some of the you know, defensive insolidity that we had and, and that was you know, an improvement, the fact that we could go in at half-time and, and make those changes. Yeah, and Raj, that's, a, that's my job as a head coach, to make these changes with my staff and be really focused and, and make the decisions that are the hard decisions, you know. Um, but this squad's really good. They've got a great character and they always show that they could come back and that was the disappointing thing with Redden as well, is that... Although we missed probably the three easy goals, we had so many goal-scoring opportunities. So I feel that, as I said, there's a lot of work to be done, Raj, you know, but it's just a, a, an exciting time for the players because they're starting to build momentum and confidence now, and that's only after maybe four or five days. After uh, defeating the one and the manner that we had at Reading, the, the usual thing would be to go to with your more experienced players, but tonight we called on Etienne Kamara, uh, Ben Jackson from the B team, younger players who have shown what they're all about this evening. Guys, I really respect my experienced players. They're fantastic guys and they're good, they're good with this young group, but us as a club are a club that are going to promote young players and also for me to get... Ben Jackson and again and the way he scored that goal there is fantastic you know and that's a real credit to the academy at the club they work so hard and they've all made me feel so welcome the academy guys you know when I'm about the building and eating in the eating areas they're so welcoming and we're just going to build this relationship together here and, and it's going to be an exciting place to be. Even though it's a, just a single point rather than all three it feels like a start it feels like something to build on especially ahead of your first home game as head coach on Sunday. Yeah, listen, we never get too disappointed with defeats and we shouldn't get too high when we get points on the table. Um, but the thing for me is that I know we've got so much more room for improvement, you know, and we have to keep striving every day in the training with the commitment that we're showing to get better and get uh, better collectively as a group in all the aspects of what I talk about and uh, train these guys on a daily basis. Perfect. Mark, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Raj. Safe journey home, Pat. Thank you very much.